Horses are on the track for the first race, first half of the Daily Double. This is an elimination for two-year-old trotting fillies. Top two finishers will come back for the finals next week and also two third-place finishers drawn by Lott. And that is for the four eliminations combined. Here are the starters. Number one, Lori's Triumph is owned by Jay DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. He's the trainer, and Tom Bussey is the driver. Two is Living Among Angels, owned by Kenneth Hughes of New Windsor, trained by Jay Sundin. Dave McGee is in the bike. Three, Secret Vice, owned by Iris Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York. Steve Halford trains, and John David Fenn will drive. Four is Never Sister, owned by the Lakeview Lawrence Stable of Laura, trained by Claude Lawrence. Dale McBath, Jr. is driving. Five is Heather Doreen, owned by Duncan Foundry and Machine Works Incorporated of Alton. John Sista trains. Mike Rogers will drive. Six, Peggy Lee is a scratch. Seven, What the Rock's Cooking. On by Jennifer Lappy of Riverton. Trained by Richard Lappy. Tony Morgan, the driver. Joe Anderson is the trainer driver of number eight, Meadow Branch Pat. Owned by Neil Miller of Beverly Hills, California. And by the Schwartz Estate of Davenport, Iowa. And number nine is Hammer and Hannah. The owner should read Terry King. Dwight Banks is the trainer driver. And that's the lineup for the first half of the Daily Double. Again, scratch the six. The track is fast. You've got five minutes to post. Here they come. What the Rock's cooking is off stride. They're off and trotting. There goes Heather Doreen out for the early lead. Secret Vice gets away second as the State Fair Colt Stakes are underway. Living Among Angels comes out racing third. There's Meadow Branch Pat. Anderson puts her in the middle of the racetrack. He looks to his left, no room toward the rail, so he sends her toward the top behind Heather Doreen. Heather Doreen makes the lead by a length. Meadow Branch Pat is parked second. Secret Vice shuffled third. Living Among Angels is fourth. Lori's Triumph is fifth. Never Sister is sixth. Hammer and Hannah is seventh. And it's a long way back to what the rocks cooking who trails the opening quarter went in 28 and two fifth seconds metal branch pat on top by a length and a half heather doreen is covered up now second secret vice goes third living among angels takes to the outside from fourth there she goes Lori's triumph is moving up fifth on the outside behind her but living among angels is driving to get the lead at the half mile mark she has the lead by three parts of a length metal branch pat now second Lori's triumph parked third then heather doreen secret vice hammer and hannah on the outside never sister is next what the rocks cooking is last the half in a minute one fifth living among among Angels leads it by three parts of a length. Lori's Triumph second by the same margin. Meadow Branch Pat buried third inside of Secret Vice. And Secret Vice is inching forward now into the fourth spot. Hammer and Hannah behind her. Heather Doreen gets the shuffle. She's toward the inside of Never Sister. And they're at the three quarters. Lori's Triumph up to challenge. Living Among Angels. Three quarters and 132 and four. They begin matching strides off the turn. Secret Vice may have to go three deep. Meadow Branch Pat needs room. Anderson knows it. He can't find it. They're coming off the final turn. Lori's Triumph has the lead by almost a length, and Metal Branch Pat is bobbing and looking for an open lane. Secret Vice trotting well on the outside, and Secret Vice comes forward for the lead. Metal Branch Pat looks for room. Hammer and Hannah, never sister, coming late. No catching, Secret Vice. Secret Vice wins it by a length. Metal Branch Pat was second, and never sister third. The time for the mile, 2.03 and 3. Ladies and gentlemen, moving into the winner's circle for the first race, the unofficial winner. In fact, it is now in the winner's circle, number three, Secret Vice, John David Finn, the driver. Right now, we've got uh, Sharon Halford, Steve's wife. Steve, of course, is the uh, winning trainer. Sharon, we know the Steve trains here at the fairgrounds. Here's a filly that comes in. She had made only three lifetime starts. I don't know if you've had a chance to talk to Steve much about it, but why has she been so lightly raced, and are you surprised about the win? No, we, we kind of thought she could win real easy, and she did. And uh, She's a nice filly. We just have raced her lightly, and uh, we were supposed to race at Lincoln last week and got rained out, and we were in hopes to get that tightener in her, but it didn't work that way. So, But we're happy to have the win today. Rained out at Lincoln, but good skies here today and a good win. Sharon, tell Steve congratulations. Thank you. That's Sharon Halford, the wife of winning trainer Steve Halford from the first race. We'll have the complete rundown in a moment.